Hi, it's Kasa from Code and Wine Tutorials, and welcome in how to build a website HTML tutorial one. Today we're going to be talking about your index file and elements. So first of all, let's build and run our first website. All you need to do is run your Notepad plus plus. In my case, it's a portable one, so don't pay mind to this. So right here, first you need to do is type your doc type. And your duct type declaration is simply the angle brackets exclamation mark duct type HTML because we're dealing with HTML5. And you go to file, save as, and you're gonna name it index.html. Now, why index? When you upload all your files onto the server that's gonna run your website, like, I don't know, um, my very first website.com or something like that, it will run index first so index is like your home page the very first thing and you're gonna save it as hypertext markup language because we're dealing with HTML right here and so you press save my one is already saved so I'm just gonna cancel and you can go ahead and start building your HTML so HTML closing HTML and inside your HTML, you're gonna have all the content. And the content is basically the following the head and, oops, closing head. And as your persona looks, or as any human being looks, it's first the head, then the body, not the body than the head because then you're some type of alien and I'm sure aliens don't watch this because they're probably smarter than us anyways so inside the head you have another two other tags which are the title tags and I consider that oops sorry and I consider the title tag to be like the eyes of the head because that's the first thing you see which is the name of the tab in a browser and which is also the name that appears um, in the search list when you search in Google or Bing or whatever but let me show you just so you know what I'm talking about so I'm gonna be like my first website and you control save this since you already have the file saved and you run. I'm running mine in Chrome, so just to show you. Right here, see? My first website. And you have all this blank stuff, and this blank stuff is the body. You don't have anything in the body, that's why it's all blank. So let's go put something in the body. So, der, body. Hello there. My name is Kosa. Control save and you come over here, refresh. See there, hello there, my name is Kosa. I don't know what your name is, but this is my first website. And that looks pretty cool, so let's go back before we can continue. Well, let's talk about the HTML element because this is very, very important. The HTML element makes the entire HTML document or the website and this element has a star tag HTML and an end tag HTML as you know and is a print of all inner content the element content becomes all that goes inside so let's call our website again so you see this right here is our HTML and our HTML element is basically all of this and this is what makes our website and that brings me to the other point. Tags and elements are not the same thing. Let me cl clarify this for you. HTML tags is the tag name which is enclosed in the angle brackets. And HTML element is everything between the start and the end tag. So, what am I talking about? Well, this is the HTML tag. And all of this is the HTML element head tag, head element, title tag, title element, body tag, body element, I think you got it. So, 
that's basically what I'm saying. Element is all of it. Tag is just that thing in there inside the angle brackets. And why do we use lowercase HTML tags? Why can't we use all caps or whatever? Well, HTML tags are not case sensitive, so that means you can put body all caps and it will be the same thing as body and many websites use uppercase HTML tags. Well, I use lowercase and the reason is that the World Wide Web Consortium has two main points. One or is that the W3C recommends lowercase tags in HTML4 even though we're doing HTML5. Anyways, and the second point is that it demands lowercase tags in XHTML. I don't know which variant you're going to be focusing in, but let's just stick to lowercase. So as you can see, let me show you one more time. Lowercase, lowercase, lowercase. That looks pretty, pretty cool. Okay, anyways. So, congratulations on building your very first website. I will see you in how to build a website HTML tutorial 2. Bye-bye.